We saw Nikosi tonight. What'd you think? Um, he, he, he was himself. He was in Cozy. Uh, you know, he, he made mistakes that Cozy does and he did some things that were good. Like the throw to Cheney was, was solid. You know, he did some things that were okay. I don't, I don't think he's, you know, going to be, I wish, I wish Van Dyke was, was able to play. That's the easiest thing I could say. I wish I could have seen Van Dyke get some snaps in and you know, throw the ball a little bit because that's really my number one concern as far as the quarterback position headed into next year because um, I'm not sure that Kosey is going to be the guy. But, um, you know, he is what he is, I think, at this point. And if King were to get hurt, I think that decision about who would take the reins would be a, a, a very tough one for Manny Diaz. So let's just hope. That we don't have to deal with that, but um, uh, I don't think it's. I think it's. It, come on, man. I think it's Nikosi. If, if anything was to happen to King, uh, which King did come down with the uh, C nineteen, he's back healthy now. Obviously, he played the night, played great. You got to go with Nikosi, right? Experienced. He's been there before. Brought us back against Florida State. I mean, you don't want to. You want to throw a true freshman out there? What it. The, I think long term, short term, right? Like, like I don't know if the coach has. This, well, I'm, like, I'm saying, I'm saying. Okay, let me talent. give let me give you a scenario, Chris. Let me give you a scenario. For some reason, okay. knock on wood. I heard you knocking on wood. I'm gonna knock on wood. If 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 Derry King couldn't play, who would our quarterback be these last couple games of this season? Who are you throwing if in? You were out. If he were out for the like the, it was announced right now, he were out for the rest of the season. I would expect Nikosi to start against North Carolina, and I would expect the hook to be, um, pretty pretty quick, and not like he throws an interception, he gets pulled. If he has like a first half against Carolina where he throws two interceptions then I would say Van Dyke has an opportunity to come in later in the game. And I would say if he has an overall bad game against North Carolina, then I could see Van Dyke get the, the start in the last game of the year and then heading into the bowl game. I think, and then from that point, you make a decision. You do one of those, like, oh, we'll determine it, you know, in the week of practice or whatever. Um, and then you make a late decision there. If you don't want to put Van Dyke in against Florida, then the chances that you're going to be that much more confident putting him in against Alabama are small. So, um, I would rather see just Van Dyke go out there and see what we have in the kid, um, especially if because if King goes, then you have to make a lot of decisions. Like I would expect that King leaves, leaves us try to find a grad transfer quarterback to come in, so it isn't just Nikosi versus Van Dyke. I would like to have more of a like a serious, like a, a, a more elaborate competition, because um, even if we get Garcia, I don't think he would be involved in that. Um, I would expect a grad transfer to come in, so I'd really want to know what Van Dyke is to know how much he's going to go into that competition with a shot. I, you know, I like, I like Kosey and I think, um, I, I think he does have talent and um, I've told people this. I think when you go into next year, if he stays at the school, you're going to look at a, a veteran guy who's been through a quarterback battle, who's, who's definitely matured, who now he's going to have his back to back offensive coordinator in the system. Um, I think that's something you can look talented. Coming into this game, I wanted to see Tyler Van Dyke because I just want to see what he looks like under center. You know, we got to see Peyton Machado today. He got him a little run. It was good to see his mobility. Um, but obviously he couldn't because – or um, Tyler Van Dyke couldn't uh, because he didn't dress out. But um, I will say this tonight. Just watching tonight, Nikosi didn't look great to me, man. I thought – the Kosey was going to come in. He came in right off the bat, threw the pass to Cheney. But the word that I that comes to mind is clumsy. Like it, it just seems, he just seems yeah. clumsy. You know, he uh, he he had to, he did a great job where he evaded two guys, but then he hit the spin move again, and it just doesn't look like he's a veteran guy. But just talking about what I saw tonight, he didn't look like a veteran guy when he got in the game. Right, exactly, exactly. That's that's where I think the issue is because you know, I, he's been here forever, but like I don't, I'm not automatically confident that he has a handle. Like you said, clumsy is a good word. Where it looks awkward sometimes. Like he, like there was something he did 
where he did like the, the, the fake handoff and then like he pulled it back to throw a pass. And he stood there with like this weird statue, like, and he just kind of like froze for a second. And I'm like, it, King would have already made a decision by, by now. And Cozy's just kind of standing there, like unsure of what's going on or, or where he wanted to go with it. Um, I don't, I don't know. I just don't, I don't see it. I, and like you said about the offense, he's, he's, he's had kind of a hard run because like, I don't, I don't think anyone that saw him play against, like you said, the comeback and all that would think he's without talent. I think he's got a lot of talent. I think the changing offensive coordinators hurt him. Like it hurt Steven Morris. Like it hurt Jacory. Like it hurt Kyle Wright. Like it hurt all these other dudes that had physical potential at the quarterback position for this team. Um, I don't know what the best bet for him is. Honestly, if, I, I would say that if we got a grad trans, if King stays and Kosey leaves, I think dropping down a level to G5 and finding a starting a starting job there where his physical talent can really carry him, I think he would have a shot at, at showing people, you know, that he's legit. Um, and I wouldn't mind seeing that too because I'd be rooting for the kid pretty hard. Um, I just don't know if it's going to happen for Miami. Man, looking at the chat, you know, the the, the chat, everybody's chiming in on this. Um um robin says you're crazy paid him a choda miami mike says really kosey come on bro he's the worst on the squad the worst uh it's time to admit it kosey is not good can we put the the perry talk to rest perry is a 50 percent passer at best the chat's going crazy so uh, what'd you think about Peyton machota i mean according to the chat they like to see Machota over Perry, so uh, we just got to see a little sample size. But did you take any way, uh, anything away? Uh, did you take away anything from how uh, he played or the little snaps he got? Uh, no, not really, <laughs> not really. And uh, part of that is you know, the <laughs> offensive line. At that point, we had we had freshman walk-ons in there on the offensive line, so I don't know what really what you can gather from it because Duke still had a lot of their like ones in. Um, I mean, I don't. I, I would like to see him do more, Peyton, because you, you never know what a kid could be. Um, I, I don't think he's near in terms of physical talent where Van Dyke is, or Perry, for that matter. He might, you know, have adjusted to the offense well, and you know, his second year in the system and all that. But he didn't seem like he, you say clumsy for Cozy. I think you could you could pretty much put that on Peyton too. Probably better passer, um, and we, we didn't get a chance to see that, obviously, really. But um, yeah, I don't, I don't think he's the answer long term either. I think he's a good guy to have as your third quarterback down the road when you get to the point where he's an upperclassman. Um, but that's about, that's about it. All right, man. Uh, Miami improves to eight and one on the season. Um, North Carolina up next, and then the, uh, most likely a New Year's Six bowl game. Um. Does Miami go two and zero these next the, the, to end the season? What do you think? 